Praise the Lord. May God bless you in Jesus' name. All that concerns you is blessed today and beyond in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. If this is the first time you're seeing me and welcome to this prophetic channel. Here, I bring you the word of God straight from God's throne. I give you prophetic directions, inspirational words from the scriptures that will just light up your day. Join our family of intercessors, prayer, um, 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 a prayer family. We pray once every day. And it's really amazing, powerful prayer sessions. You might want to be a part of it. Um, um, 6 a.m. West African time, 12, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's very powerful. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so that you will be updated when we post new content. God bless you. God says you are right and they know it but will not accept it. God says you are right and they know it but they don't want to accept it. Will you spare a minute and let us pray? Heavenly Father, I thank you. For this moment together with my beloved friend i pray may you give me utterance to speak your word as you have dropped it in my spirit and help them to understand this prophetic word and to take action by it in jesus name may your name be glorified in jesus precious name amen hallelujah praise god family so i mean i was just meditating on the word of god the lord just dropped this word in my heart that you are right and they know you are right, but they will not accept it. Human beings are deception. I mean, they are, they are, they are full of deception. There is a lot of deception in the, in the human race. And people know what they want. They know what they want from you. And even though you are correct, even though you are right, genuinely right, they wouldn't accept it. There is somebody right about now. There is something going on in your life and it's getting you worked up. You are trying as much as possible to prove that what you're saying is true. The Lord says they know what you're saying is true. But they are just bent on bringing destruction to you. They are just bent on destroying your image, your good image, your amazing personality. The Bible tells us clearly of a man that came to Jesus by night and his name was Nicodemus. Nicodemus was one of the teachers of the law, was one of the scribes. Nicodemus was a leader, kind of like a religious leader of his days. And you know that while Jesus was on the earth, he had a lot of issues with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. These people who were scribes, these people who were considered teachers of the law, he had a lot of issues with them because they couldn't accept who he was. So, but Nicodemus says something very phenomenal when he visits Jesus by night, guys, by night. <laughs> he says to Jesus, first of all, he calls him teacher. He says, for we know that you are a man sent from God. He says, for no man can do the things that you do unless the Lord is with him. I was shocked to read that in the scriptures. These are the same people who persecute Jesus in the morning. They are saying his brothers and his mother and his father, they are here and they know him. He can never be what he claims to be. He cannot be the Messiah. And one of them comes to him by night and says, for we, he did not say, for I know. He says, for we know. So in other words, when they withdraw from the crowd and they go to their private meetings as a hindrance, they discuss about Jesus. They discuss about how authentic he is. And sometimes they put up fights just to sabotage him. Your destiny is so valuable, so Satan will try to sabotage you, sabotage your good name. The enemy is trying to sabotage the fact that you're a good Christian. You might be feeling the need to explain yourself to your family, to explain yourself to that church, to explain yourself to the leadership. You just find yourself trying to prove your good name. Don't bother. People believe what they want to believe. It comes a point in your life when you just tell the people to believe what you want to believe. Because that's actually what truly really happens. People believe what they want to believe. <laughs> 
Yeah, you might be so correct and you are almost crying blood and it doesn't matter to them. Don't kill yourself because of what people think. They are going to think what they want to think anyway. The Bible says a good name is better than riches. But the truth is, only God can give you a good name. Now, I want to explain to you the difference between integrity and reputation. Integrity and reputation. Those are two different things. And so many of us want reputation. But God gives you integrity. God deals with integrity and not reputation. Reputation is what men think of you. Integrity is what God thinks of you. Reputation is in the outside, but integrity is in the inside. I want you to listen to me today and let these words sink into your spirit. Jesus was of no reputation, but he was a man of integrity. They nailed him among thieves. The people preferred the worst criminal called Barnabas to him, and he had done nothing to them. All he had done was good. Fed them, healed their sick ones, raised them from the dead, gave them money and food. But they didn't like him. And they called him the prince of Beelzebub. They said he was casting out demons by demons. <laughs> Maybe they are calling you all sort of names. And you are crying and you are... I mean trying to prove yourself that you are not what they say. They know in their hearts that you are not what they say. But they just want to do that to feel good. I have two news for you. The first, the Lord says, don't worry about it. Number two, God says he's about to deal with them. He's about to fix your name. God is about to clear your name in this season. He's about to fix you. The Lord is telling me to tell you that the days when you had to sit quiet and let lies go on and on, has come to an end. But you are not the one to clear your name. God is going to miraculously begin to let them speak the truth to themselves and start fighting in their camp so that the truth about what they are saying will prevail. I stand in the name of the Lord Jesus and I bless you. I declare that every misconception about your image, about your person, about your name, every misconception, the people who are sponsoring this, God will expose them they will be exposed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I declare the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and the Lord be gracious to you. May he give you peace in Jesus' precious name. Do you receive this word with gladness? Don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and share it to loved ones. I love you. God bless you. Shalom.